Hello fellow pipe smokers, Jan is here and welcome to my shop on this cloudy Saturday late afternoon, early evening. Smoking this Stanwell Shape 11 Trio Stanwell stake on print shape and in it some M4 Kentucky. I mean, I didn't smoke M4 for more than a month, let's say. I had a number of Gavit Hogarth blends that I wanted to finish. Some of them I already did. Um, some of them I will soon, and then I will move on to something else. Mm. Tasty tobacco. One of the most underrated Virginia Kentuckys for the price that it has. So, it was a busy week, it was not a long one, I had it's only four days because I was off work on Monday. I just love those days when you take holidays or you are taking leave from work and then you also take either Friday before or Monday after that. So. When you come home, you still have a weekend or at least part of the weekend and then Monday. And everybody goes to school or to work or so on. And you're just home alone and uh, you organize your day or at least the first part of the day according do what you want. Sipping on some Jameson Crested. This is like they say that we didn't bottle, we didn't always bottle our own whiskey, but sold it in casks to bonders for bottling. In 1963, we took control of of the whole process. Crested in is a tribute to the first drops bottled by us and combines vivid sherry notes with hearty pot still spices. And I don't know if I read it right somewhere like the first batches of uh, Jameson Crested was, were like 10 years old uh, whiskey. But don't see it here now. The most sold whiskey on the planet. Okay, now, as you can see it here, and before the video, I was uh, assembling this press, I found one uh, flaw uh, in the work that was done in the mechanical shop and that is that right here on both sides they didn't grind it all the way all the way to the edge so i'm having problems using the bigger tube but this is going to be corrected and until then i have two operational if i may say so presses uh, and later on i will use this tubing here and the bigger one which you can see how it fits it should be fit snugly inside but it doesn't so nevertheless i will uh, go on with the 
pressing the tobacco. I will make a video when I will do this. I think the tobacco will soon be ready. Talking about the um, tobacco I'm hydrating to press two cigar cakes. So Robert McConnell, Virginia, Robert McConnell, Pure Brazil, uh, cigar leaf, and um, Robert McConnell, Pure Cuban cigar leaf. Now, I'm planning to do some cleaning of the pipes that I'm planning to sell, pipes that I showed in one of my previous videos. This is something that I will have to do tomorrow, together with cleaning up this place here, because It would be nice if I would have the tent or the room like it was in the uh, Harry Potter, you know, that tent that everybody went in and then inside it was like a, a large apartment. And the, on the outside it was just a small tent. At least until I, uh, until I build a house. So, cleaning the place up, cleaning the pipes, and then, of course, I have to find all the boxes, the, the pipe socks, which are usually in the box, um, arrange them, and then I will do the photos and um, upload the photos to the internal forum that we have uh, in our or on our web page of the Pipe Club of Slovenia. So in this way my fellow pipe smokers here in our Pipe Club will be able to get in, check the pipes, maybe say okay I'm interested in this one, this one, can you send me maybe more pictures or or photos or whatever reserve a piece one is already reserved and uh, this will make the sales easier and during the that uh, cleanup and everything I will also uh, clean these pipes that I bought the last stand wells batch but Shukon and uh, Svendborg and start to smoke them. Of course, check on the tobacco if it's if it is um, hydrated enough, and then filling the presses and start to press. And it will take fourteen days to open the press again, so. Then I will have time to, to, to get to two, one or two big jars. So when I will cut the cakes into smaller pieces, I will put into the jars. They will be able to have a bit more oxygen until the November, let's say. I'm also doing everything to get some tobaccos for blending meaning that I have ordered two tins of pure Caribe so pure Caribbean cigar leaf don't know which one there's a number of countries that could list under the Caribbean don't know all the all uh, different uh, areas there where they grow cigar leaf I hope it's not from Cuba because uh, and I think it's not because otherwise it because it comes from the same uh, company so Robert McConnell Cuba and then Brazil and then Caribe 
a Caribbean cigar leaf. So I don't think this is the same. So I'll see what kind of a taste uh, gives this uh, leaf to the cigar cake. But they are be they are going to be used most probably the next year. Plus, when I was buying uh, aged tobacco from uh, Greece, I bought this McClellan Perique blending Perique tobacco from McClellan. And the finest Louisiana Perique from St. James Parish, this excellent blender is a wonderful condimental tobacco possessing a provocative odor somewhere between the fragrance and cooked fruit and the mustiness of mushrooms. Used sparingly, it adds a distinctive aroma and a delicate flavor to premium pipe tobaccos. So, I don't know if you re all remember, but I asked in one of my videos if you guys can help me determine what is the the best uh, percentage of the Perique in the Virginia Perique blend. And the number that came out was 12%. It was from 10 to 15 and 12 often come, uh, came up and there were also a lower number, lower it was, I also received a, an answer with the lower number, like 5 to 10 and so on, but most of them were from 10 to 15 and 12. So I'll go with 12% of Perique. This is 50 grams. The other 88%, I think it's 366 grams and of Virginia. And I was thinking of different Virginias that I could use. And I think I will go with uh, Sutliff's 515RC1 McClellan's Red Cake Match. That I have already smoked in the past. It has that taste of red cake but not the full taste that the red cake had or still has <laughs> so i'm not planning to use the stock of red cake that i have not going to use the either hamburger beer master from then the tobacco or a full Virginia flake or something like that. I decided to uh, go with Sutliff's 515 RC1. And I hope it will be good. And what I'm pen planning to do is to, uh, because I will be again pressing around 400 plus grams of tobacco again using both presses to press it at the same time after that i will either during the pressing or after the pressing i will um, stove some of the tobacco either i will be stowing i will put the whole press into the stove let's say of course wrap it in the in the back so it will not lose the moisture uh, too quick but uh, or I will uh, stow the the cakes later after I, I have pressed it I don't know uh, I'm still didn't decide on that but I know that a number of pipers had a successful uh, tries of stowing the tobacco <clears throat> so more or less 
it this is it maybe only uh the last thing for today uh, i had a a chat with um, silvio vintage pipes nightmare and he said why are you waiting for so long to smoke that world war ii tobacco why aren't you not just quickly hydrated with the distilled water or the water and then just smoke it in a pipe just to see if it has anything and, and i did that i took a small tray put on some of the tobacco uh, spray it with a little bit of distilled water <coughs> sorry <coughs> and smoked it and i didn't get any uh, bad taste or anything uh, it was more not totally tasteless tasteless um, tobacco or smoke but it was not like uh, something specific that i could uh, put my finger on and uh, say okay this tastes like this and this so what i'm planning to do is hydrate the tobacco and then put it into the jar for a week or two so it will be sealed for the first time because it didn't it wasn't sealed in the factory it wasn't sealed during these 80 years of waiting for me to smoke it um, so i will somehow hydrate it and then um, set a, a, for a short period uh, uh, environment closed sealed environment for itself maybe it will this will help to, let's say, open a bit of the taste that it maybe still has. We will see. It's just a experiment, let's say. So, thank you for uh, stopping by. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that you will have a splendid weekend. And until we meet again, I wish you all a lot of pleasant smokes.